Hi, this is Kevin, Matt Practical. Just wanted to talk about this great resource uh, that you have out there. It's for free. It's Natural Earth Vector. Uh, it's Tom Patterson's beautiful shade of relief and a lot of the vector artwork done by Nathaniel von Kelso. Uh, but when you download the, the large rasters, they come in unprojected. Um, you'll get this, this file here, but if you look at the README file, which is a little text file, it'll just tell you right here that this is uh, in the WGS84. So that's what you need to project it. So I'm going to turn that off and don't save it. So I usually start off here in my Arc Toolbox, and I'll go over to the index and just start to type in the word of the tool that I need. You'll get the Project Raster tool to come up. And then, um, yeah, you just start putting things in. Throw in that GeoTIFF that you downloaded off the uh, Natural Earth site. Um, it doesn't know the coordinate system, so you go ahead and tell it. And we're going to go with the geographic coordinate system that's said in the README file, WGS84. Say OK. And then we're going to go ahead and also project it into that coordinate system. So it's kind of strange. You have to tell it what it is and what you want it to be. And they're both the same thing. That's just the way it is. And once it's in, you would say OK and let it run. It does take a while, so I'm not going to run it now. I already have it finished. But once it's done, you'll get another world raster or whatever you name it. And we take a look at the metadata here and the spatial, and you can see that we are in WGS84. So that's kind of helpful. All right, the next thing that I usually do is uh, I'll build a geo database. And so what I'll do is I'll go over here into the uh, Art Catalog um, Layers palette, and uh, I will uh, right click on my Projections Lab uh, folder and say New and say File Geo Database. And then that's going to create one. And once it pops up, name it. Then uh, I right click on my File Geo Database and say New and Feature Data Set. And that's if you have multiple shape files you want to pull into it. So I created one, and we can take a look inside of there. It's called Features. And then I right clicked on that guy and said Import and said Feature Class Multiple. And this little guy popped up here. And then I filled it full of these, where are they at? These shape files right over here. I just put those guys right into it, ran it, and I put it into that feature data set. Worked out good. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to do was bring that world raster in. And so I did an import and raster data set. If you have multiple rasters at some point that um, are uh, line up side by side but aren't together, you can use this mosaic tool and it will stitch them all in one shot as they go into the geo database. That's just a good little trick. So after I ran all those, I've got this uh, this projections geo database full with my uh, my features and my world raster. And then I just go over to an arc map document, open it up, and go to my uh, geo database, add my layers, and boom, there we go. Now the uh, vector stuff comes in full. I'm going to hollow that out, maybe change the color on it, and then same with the distortion diagrams. Make those a decent color. And I also can see that this world raster came in a little dark. So if I double click on it and I go to the symbology tab, if you take a look down here, uh, the standard deviation stretch is not what we want. We want a no stretch. We'll say OK. And that's what we're looking for. That's the colors that Tom intended the thing to be. Now the nice thing is our geographic coordinates are set and we can reproject this into anything we want simply by going into the uh, data frame properties over here. And then on the coordinate system tab, go to uh, predefined, projected, world, and what about like a nice bone? Throw that up there. And away we go. Bingo. And this has not affected the uh, geographic coordinate system of the data in the geo database. It still remains WGS84, and all we've done is reproject it with that datum, all right, or that coordinate system. So, uh, yeah, you can reproject it on the fly really quickly and do just about anything you want. And it's kind of cool. So that's how you use that natural earth vector data. Um, hope this helps you out. Have a good time mapping. See you around.